today's video a review of the Coleman CT200U mini bike. Got this from Camping World for about $600. So what do you get for $600? What does this thing do? What is it good for? Right now, I'm in the middle of nowhere. And this is where this bike is a lot of fun. There's no turn signals or anything like that. It's not street legal. But it doesn't matter in the middle of nowhere. So I have a combination of dirt and street. And that's where I'm going to ride this thing right now. That was a combination of street and dirt driving. Who is this bike for? Well, the person I am is I'm not a guy into motorcycles. I'm not a motorcycle enthusiast. And this is my first ever motorcycle of any type. And for $600, I think this thing's a bargain. The reason I wanted one of these is because I wanted something to put along in when I'm in the middle of nowhere. I just wanted something to have fun in and today is 90 degrees and I wanted to get out here one more time before it got too hot that's how much fun this thing is and here's the thing for six hundred dollars you're getting a lot of machine so I think this is nice even for motorcycle enthusiasts like if you love motorcycles and you collect motorcycles I figure this is something you want to add to your collection because it's such a nice toy for six hundred dollars and the fact that it is it is kind of a toy, there's so many parts for it. This is uh, the only thing I changed. Like this was $25, a clutch is like $30, a new carburetor is 40 bucks. You could get a performance intake kit for like $80. Everything is cheap for this thing. So many upgrades for this. So it's like a nice toy to tinker with. So I think even uh, seasoned motorcycle veterans and collectors will love having this thing. This is my only motorcycle. And I'm proud of it, just looking at it, being not a motorcycle guy, I still look at it and I'm like, wow, what a cool toy for $600. These go 20 miles per hour, about 20. On the street, 20 feels really slow, but on the dirt, 20 is fast enough. You could remove the speed limiter, you could get these things to go a lot faster. But if you're a beginner like me, 20 miles per hour is fast enough. In the sand these things have fat tires so they do well in the sand really easy to keep your balance and the thing is like when I first bought this thing I was impressed with the size of it it is small it is mini but it's not that mini it's actually a decently sized vehicle and 
it's still small enough like uh, when you're sitting on it it's easy to plant your feet and regain your balance you've seen me do that a couple times like um not to really regain my balance but i'm not experienced yet so i can't hit inclines at full speed on everything so sometimes i slow down and just use my feet to control myself until i get moving again so it's really easy in that sense this is my first ever motorcycle like i said and it, it was really easy to learn 6.5 horsepower i know people get like eight horsepower out of this and eight horsepower is actually a lot considering like how much are you boosting the power on this i think when you boost it to 7.5 horsepower the clutch is not good enough and you got to get an upgraded clutch it's pretty hilarious so there it is is this thing worth 600 dollars? yes if you have a spot where you could just ride it a lot you know like cool secluded spots yeah it's worth 600 dollars. it's a cool little machine it's a lot of it's a lot of machine for six hundred dollars so if you're thinking about it and you got spots to ride this is a really cool first bike and even if you're not a bike guy like me you'll be proud to look at this thing it's nice